All right, I'm going to do one more problem here, solving an equation that at first doesn't look quadratic, but after I rewrite it and do a little substitution, we'll be able to use the same techniques that we use to solve quadratic equations. We'll have to do a couple extra steps. Um, the first thing to really notice, the thing that sticks out to me on these problems that I recognize, notice we sort of have some x's to a power, we have some x's to a power, and we just have a number hanging out. So right now we have one, two, three terms. Uh, which is very common for quadratic equations. Notice these exponents that we see. There's a one-half and there's a, a one-fourth. One-half is exactly two times one-fourth. Whenever that happens, whenever the exponent is twice as big as the other exponent, we're, we can do this trick that we're about to do to do this problem. Likewise, you know, suppose this had been to the 20th power, and this was to the tenth power, what we're about to do, uh, we could do something very similar to solve this problem. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to rewrite um, this x plus 4. I want to rewrite this as something squared. Well, I think, so I think, you know, again I'm multiplying, so I think what number times 2 is going to give me 1 half? Well, if you take 2 times a fourth, notice if you multiply, we would have 2 over 1 times 1 fourth. 2 over 4 is going to give us 1 half. So the way I've rewritten this is equivalent to the x plus 4 to the 1 half. So certainly these are tricky problems already. This is something, you know, I think, uh, I, you know, I'm having to stop and think about this a little bit, kind of what exponents I need. Um, then I'm going to have 5, and then we have this this x plus 4 to the 1 fourth power and that's being raised to the first plus 4 equals 0 so I've kind of done you know maybe maybe a, a, a what seems like an unnatural relabeling but the idea is if I again kinda do a substitution if I say let's let y equal this quantity x plus 4 raised to the 1 fourth well, what I can do is I can rewrite this first part instead of x plus 4 to the 1 fourth, I can write that as y squared minus 5 times, well, again, x plus 4 to the 1 fourth is the same thing as y, plus 4 equals 0. And now what I have to do is I've kind of turned it back into a more familiar quadratic that I'm going to try to solve. So, again, I think this one will factor relatively nicely. So we need two numbers that multiply to positive 4 but add up to negative 5. I think negative 1 and negative 4, that would work for us. So again, we set each, each factor equal to 0. So y minus 1 equals 0, y minus 4 equals 0. In the first part, I can add 1 to both sides, and that'll give me y equals 1. On the second part, if I add 4 to both sides, I'll get y equals 4. And again, now I'm going to go back and uh, kind of unsubstitute. So we said y is x plus 4 to the 1 fourth. So that means we have x plus 4 to the 1 fourth. We're going to have to solve this equation. We'll set that equal to 1. And then we also have to take, so for our other part, we'll have to take x plus 4 to the 1 fourth and set that equal to positive 4. Okay, so on the left side, um, well, really what we're going to have to do on both equations, um, since we're raising the left side to the 1 fourth power, the way that you kind of get rid of that exponent is we simply raise both sides to the fourth power. So I'm going to take the left side and raise all of that to the fourth power, but then I have to take the right side and also raise it to the fourth power. The 1 fourth times the 4 is going to give me an exponent of a 1, so really we just have x plus 4. Well, 1 to the 4th is just 1, and now I can subtract 4 from both sides and get x equals negative 3. That'll be one of my solutions. And on the other one, I should say potential solutions, because we could actually pick up extraneous solutions. We should really go back and check these. Um, likewise, on my other problem, I'm going to have to raise both sides to the 4th power. So we'll have x plus 4 left on the left side. 4 to the 4th, that's kind of a big number, so that's 16 squared. And I do believe um, 16 times 16 is 256. 
And then again, we can simply subtract 4 from both sides. And if we subtract 4, we'll get x equals 252. And without doing a ton of arithmetic, um, actually I've kind of already checked these, um, you can actually go back and check that both of these solutions do in fact work and that if you plug them into the original, you will get a solution to, to your original equation.